Hey, how's it going? And good to have you back. Okay, so I've been away from Skyrim for a bit whilst I've concentrated on the Dishonored 2 series, uh, which, by the way, I must recommend you watch. Seriously, great game. Uh, but it's taken up far more time than I expected and slowed down my other stuff. And now it looks like the game files on my new Farseer build have been corrupted, and so I've been forced to start a new character until I can recover uh, the Neve build and then run both characters at the same time. Now, this isn't such a bad thing as I was planning to do this anyway, but I'm going to use the alternate Start Live Another Life mod, and I thought my first video is not going to be so much a mod review, but more of a showcase of exactly what starts this mod offers you. So if you want to use it yourself, you get an idea of what you want before you start. Um, sadly, this seems to be PC and Xbox One only, and links to the mods are in the video description. I'll point out, however, there's an alt start light for PS4, but it's in beta, and the reviews are pretty mixed, so I strongly suggest you read up on it before you use it, and uh, I have included the link down for that down below, but as I said, be cautious with it. Okay, all that being said, let's just dive straight in. And welcome to my new character, Tyene Sand, who's a red guard from Hammerfell, which goes against all my normal stuff, because I, I usually always play as a Breton. So, um, this is going to be different for me. Okay, so, right, to get the mod started, all we've got to do is approach the statue of Mara. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Okay, you're arriving on a, uh, on a ship, and we can start at Solitude Docks. Okay, and then all you do is wander up the stairs here to a bed and sleep. And there you are. And we'll have a little check in the inventory to see what you're starting with. So you've got an axe, some fine clothes, uh, an enchanted item, blah, blah, blah. So. You're not completely painless, you've got 694 gold, which is a fairly decent start, actually. Okay. And that's it. You are there, on your own. So, as you can imagine, they're all going to be the same in the major holes. You're going to be dropped off uh, at a certain point, and left completely to your own devices. And we look at Dawnstar, at the docks there. Have a quick look in the inventory. I'm guessing this is all random what's in your inventory because each time I start I've had different stuff in, in each one. So I'm not sure if that's actually due to any particular place or not. I think it's just an RNG thing. Okay, also you can jump straight into the quest, but bear this in mind guys, you're gonna be level one. You are going to be uh, very, very weak. So choose your quest carefully. Okay, moving on. Okay, let's all look, look at Windhelm. Okay, a bit more gold on this one. Enchanted item, blah blah blah. So there you go. Interesting thing, if you speak to Gort, you can take his boat to any of the other ones as well, if that's what you want to do. Okay. Let's have a look at Raven Rock. A life filled with opportunity awaits you, traveller. Now on this one, I am going to give a cautionary note. Wow. At level yeah. one, you may find Raven, Raven Rock pretty damn Just tricky uh, be because it is up a notch on the difficulty Davis. levels from uh, right. basic right. Skyrim. Right. So uh, bear that in mind. But that actually could be a challenging place to start if you're looking for a new challenge. Okay, anyway, I'll just let this run out. Of 
Of course, one good thing about coming to Raven Rock is you can grab the Chaos enchantments here and then you can fast travel back to Skyrim. So that may be worth bearing in mind. Just none of your business. You can also do the surprise me thing, which can take you to any random one of these. So uh, if you want to go that route, go that route. This is Morrow, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? In. I had a prophecy on the holds. The life of luxury. Live well, but live honorably. Okay, so this can actually get you a decent player home right from the bat. It's going to be fully furnished with not extra rooms and stuff like that. So, uh, like children's room here in solitude isn't included, and um, I think you've got extra tables, like enchanting tables and stuff like that, which won't have been added. Okay, but I'm sure you can go and pay for those anyway. And there you go. Now, I personally wouldn't go this route. I think it makes the game far too easy. Um, but then again, though, the chance of going to um, pass by a manor right from the off is it's quite tempting. Windrow Hall. And you pick up a, like a dwarven bow right from the off here, which is actually quite a handy thing to have. This is actually a very good player home, unless you want children, of course. Apparently, families don't like it here. In fact, I think the only homes children uh, like are, I think, um, Lakeview Manor and uh, Prowspar Manor. I think Breeze Home they like as well. And there you go. Honeyside in Rifton. Be always vigilant in the city of thieves, my child. And there you go. I have actually added a mod in this, which makes this uh, slightly better. It gives an enchanting table and uh, just makes it a little bit prettier. Out, but you can you can get that out later. So there you go. And breeze home in White Run. Even a modest existence is something to admire. And Breeze Home, basically everyone's starts at home. So you pick up a bit of bobs around the house. So they may not be in your inventory, but you pick them up around your property. As you can see, the, uh, the house Coles room hasn't been built.
so you get it pretty much. It's a furnished home, but it's going to be fairly basic. Not all the bells and whistles. Now you don't get the one in Windhelm because obviously there's a quest uh, related to that. Now this one is actually quite interesting actually. And you wake up as a farmer. Got a few bits and bobs here. It's a fairly basic home, but not a bad one actually. As a starter house, it's uh, not bad at all. And down here. And it looks like these got extended for a lot of kids by, by the looks of it. Because I do have a, a mod on where I can adopt more than four children. Which I, cause I kind of felt that if you're a rich um, dragonborn or a rich uh, character you would be able to afford if you wanted to to have more than four kids so I didn't think that was a game changing to that much of a degree and you've got the farm itself you've got workers here as well so uh, but be warned there's some bandits nearby that you will have to fight I don't want to do any spoilers but uh, be prepared for that and we've got Hoyarkin Hall and what I do I just leave this one because it's going to be exactly the same for all the Blakeview Manor and all the other half fire homes so we look at this one and you can just assume that you have got Lakeview Manor and the others okay and if you are going to get a family by the way I would recommend Lakeview Manor because your family and children are far happier there. And an FYI, I use the Draco mods on uh, on all my halfway homes and uh, exit pods. Okay, as you can see as well, the um, the wings have been added. This as a basic home here. Okay, but you can build them and add on to this as well. Okay. But this bit is fully furnished, completely furnished. Which is a good start. But again, for me, yeah, I think it's just making the game a little bit too easy. Okay, and just to uh, show you here, if you come down to the crafting table and you can build in all your wings and stuff like that. Okay, so that goes through all, all of the halfway homes. I'm a new member of a guild. And we'll start with the companions. Okay, there you go. Yeah. And you get some decent armour and weapons on this one. And a 
College of Winterhold. I'd hardly call that a weapon, to be fair. Dark Brotherhood. A child of Sinus, I see. May you serve the void well. I'm not 100% sure how good it is to avoid all the startup quests on this one, but uh, I've heard nothing bad about it. So I think you're pretty fairly safe. Thieves Guild. All in honest day's work, right? Shadow hide you. <laughs> Has Mara been a bit sarcastic? Steel Dagger, all that drama, and 17 lockpicks, which is always handy. There we go, the Dawn Guard. These are all fairly straightforward. Here you go. Lord Harkin's court. Yet be forgiven for your transgressions, vampire. And here we are with a lovely jolly Lord Harkin. He's a barrel of laughs. Okay, and you've also got the surprise me option. And we'll have a quick look at what we got. Crossbow, still bolt, still war axe. And there you go. So they're the factions. And choose where your new life shall begin. I'm a patron at a local inn. Which inn are you a patron of? So there's loads of them. Just choose which, wherever you want to start in the game. Um, for this one, I'm just going to scroll so you can see where they are. But I'm going to go for the surprise me. Plenty of time I've woken up in a pub, not realising how I've got there, so kind of a bit of a flashback.
approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Which I'm a soldier in the army. No, I'll show you. I'll show you each one. The Imperial Legion, such noble souls, fight well, citizen. Tell me again why I'm wasting men chasing after a parent. If Ulfric gets his hand on. Welcome back, soldier. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I'll send men to garrison the fort right away. You did well. I'm impressed. Okay, Stormcloak. The sons and daughters of Skyrim shall welcome you with open arms. Tell me again why we're wasting time and building resources chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. I'm... The Jarls are upset. They don't all support you. Damn the you're Yarls. alive. I owe Rufnik a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Okay, you can do the vanilla stars if you want to. Obviously, the whole point of doing this really so is to. Uh, not do that but uh, hey if you want to okay this one's actually quite interesting this is a good one actually and I think from here on in they're getting better you literally get dumped in the middle of nowhere and you start but uh, you may have a bit of a fight getting away from here I'll put this little spoiler in <laughs> Because you should be ready for it. It's not that easy. Okay. And you escape from the jail. And choose where your new life shall begin. I'm out there in the wilds. Out there? <laughs> Outlaw in the wilds. Now, it's worth bearing in mind, these people will always be friendly with you, by the way, throughout the game, as long as you don't attack them or, or do anything to uh, turn them hostile. They'll always be friendly to you. So, worth bearing that in mind. Good morning. Need something? And choose where your new life oh, you'll have a bounty in that particular hold as well. So have, bear that in mind when you're dealing with uh, guards. Service to the divines shall bring you glory. Now this one's quite interesting um, because you end up with quite a lot of stuff. Uh, right at the beginning. And access to a Daedric house as well, so. Camping in the woods. It be so peaceful this time of year. Good hunting. This one's quite a good one. Uh, you will see um, Alduin on this one, and you can run up to Helgen, um, and you can read a certain book. I'm not going to tell you how you do it. Um, no spoilers. Uh, and that will actually complete the Unbound quest. And that, actually, if you're using some mods, is actually quite essential to some. So uh, bear that in mind. 
you may have to come back to Helgen at some stage anyway just to uh, read that book but this one's quite close and there's Alduin he's just left Helgen after destroying it and there you go Sadly, there's nothing in here to loot. I checked all over, absolutely nothing. Watch, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. And I was shipwrecked off the coast. Even in our darkest hour, there is yet hope. Now, as me personally, I would go for the whole last load, you know, where you effectively just dumps anywhere and you have to start. Though if you're a, a new player, maybe an easier option. So there's lots of bits of bobs to pick up around here. So take your time, but don't forget you can drown. And there you go. You are out at sea. <laughs> yeah, and you start your life from there. Begin. I'm vampire in a secluded lair. Now this will throw you in some generic um, cave or barrow or anywhere. Um, I tried a few of these and uh, one of them I was really struggling to get out of so uh, bear that in mind. So make a save, if you do struggle, make a save before you go in you can start again if you're having difficulty. Okay, come on, lots of bits and bobs. I do like the vampire uh, armour. Yep, so you're a fully fledged vampire here. I'm a necromancer in a secret location. Beware the forces of the undead necromancer. Uh, I'm going to give you a pretty good heads up on this one. Uh, you end up in Blackreach, as uh, most of us know, that could be tricky as hell. Uh, and especially now, bearing in mind you are level one, uh, you are as weak as a weak thing. But you do pick up a lot of stuff in here as well. That's where I'm but worth bearing in mind. However, and I will do a spoiler on this one, because I think it's only fair you should know, there is a Dwarven Sphere waiting outside that door that attacks you straight away. I think this one's a, a good one if you want a bit of a challenge. This, this is a good one. Even in our I'm a Warlock's hour, Thrall. There is yet hope. Okay, it's a pretty well straightforward one. Lots of bits and bobs you can take here. And just get the hell out of there. But I'll give you a bit of advice, don't get tangled up with the warlocks. They will they don't give up. So just get the hell out of there. And you get some good stuff. There's a few bits and bobs in there to uh, loot, so it's a good start. I was attacked and left for dead. 
This is a good one. Now, every time I did this, I woke up in Raven Rock, so bear that in mind. It might be just a random thing. I've just had it on, but I, I tried it three times, and each time was a different location in Raven Rock. Uh, it may be different for you, but uh, bear that in mind. Because I said Raven Rock's quite difficult if you're, uh, especially if you're new to Skyrim. It's at level one, it's tricky, or can be. You can fast travel straight straight to uh, Skyrim anyway, if you want to. Okay. I'm a member of the old Kier. Alec here, sorry. And I kind of like this one as well. And you get the full Alec here armor and uh, bits and bobs. But you're out in the reach as well. So watch out for those four spawn. As I said, you are so underpowered, it's unreal. Okay, so anyway, as soon as you arrive, you generally can get some quests and stuff, but be careful which ones you pick up. Um, choose whatever life you want. So I actually like the last load. I think you literally be numped in the middle of nowhere with nothing at level one, uh, and that makes life interesting. Uh, but of course, you've got the choice of getting uh, homes or straight into a guild or whatever you want. Okay, I hope you guys found this useful. I've done this so you don't have to. You don't have to make a mistake. You know what to do. You know where you want to go. Have fun, and please guys, watch my new series. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you found it useful. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button, after you subscribe, obviously. Later.